Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. It is early summer, and I've got grass growing on both fields. As you guys remember, in the last episode, we planted oats. We're not going to harvest the oats. We're just going to mow this wheat, and it's totally covered in weeds. Ugh, bothers me so much, but it doesn't matter. We just need straw. Up top, I've done a little bit of a change over last month. Uh, I added in our uh, manure pit. So we can start collecting manure so that we can spread that on the grass to get free fertilizer. Uh, we also have the slurry. And I realize this this unit actually has a slurry tank. And then we also have slurry over here in this thing. So I don't really need both. At some point, I probably should just sell this because uh, we have slurry. So we're doubling our slurry and it's splitting it between the two. Um so I think we have our farm pretty much together. I did sell, I delivered a full load of milk down to the factory this morning and uh, recorded it and realized that, unfortunately, the recorder wasn't recording the right program, and so I had a black screen instead. So you didn't get to see that, but this is full of milk, 8,000 liters. We are producing butter and cheese. I also came to the conclusion that butter is fairly worthless. It gives you maybe a $100 bonus per liter i'm sorry per 100 liters or whatever it's it's very minimal you make about you make an extra couple dollars by converting stuff to butter but it is what it is and it's it's a little bit of a boost so i'm just going to leave it running uh but selling milk and selling butter are almost synonymous they don't really you don't really get much of a boost in price um we have still a decent amount of hay left and silage uh, but i would like to get another at least, I don't know, I'd like to put another stack of bales here and another stack of silage here. Uh, in the meantime, let's see what we have in our food bin for the cows. The cows have been fed yesterday. They could use some more feed today. So let's take a look and see how they are with our animal inspector as we get close here. They're 100% health. They have 29,000 liters. I need to see in the thing because I don't know exactly what that means. Yeah, they got room for more total mixed rations. So let's go ahead and give them some TMR. And, uh... I'm going to start speeding up time. What I'm hoping is that we get to this afternoon and the grass will have grown and we'll be able to mow it for the first mowing of the year. And we'll make silage and sell the crap out of it. I will make a little bit of hay. Probably like half a field will be hay. I bet you this fills up. So we'll make some more. And did our grass grow? Nope. It is grown enough that we could mow it, but I want it to get to that stage where it's like ready. Ready for any. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our front loader and fill this up once again. Daily cow maintenance. Pretty typical. Everybody watch out. Moo. I finally got uh, that first, like the first load of milk and cheese delivered. The second one, I made about $12,000 for four pallets. That's not too bad. That was three butter pallets and a cheese pallet. Um, But I wish we could keep that thing running 24-7. It seems like it runs out every other day. I want two of these bales. The 
is the fullest. There's the second. Poke. Yeah. I've got the two bells. They're a little lopsided. They are not on there perfectly. that up maybe okay there goes <laughs> come on grind it up and one of these bail actually two of these we could put two in two and two I forgot our bailer is big enough we'll just do one for now that'll have to do for now uh oh I mean we might as well put two in it's all going to TMR so it doesn't really matter I think this is the wagon that could take four So our money is a little tight, but once we have this harvest of the grass, that'll make things a little better. Let's see. How's the grass doing? Has it grown? Nope. Dang it. It's already 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we have, wait, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Time flies when you're having fun. My morning cow feed has turned into an evening cow feed. Let go. There you go. here turn it off boom here comes the here comes the here comes the boys from the south boom we got room for some straw in there if we wanted it for filler all right So I am planning to buy some kind of slurry and manure spreaders at some point. In the near future. The cows have been sated. And so that pretty much, it's 8 o'clock in the evening now. And the grass still hasn't grown to the next notch. Looks like we're expecting rain. Perfect. Oops. <laughs> and the sun's going down. Oop. Oh, this is not that hard to back. Come on. Okay, and then we're going to put the tractor away. And night has fallen. I'm going to slow time back down. And we're going to go to bed. So that was the fastest day ever, month. Let's move on to July. Once again, I'm surprised that we haven't had a growing yet. Like, that's, I'm usually we're mowed by now, but it hasn't grown fast enough. So let's see what happens. It could be because we rolled it. So I'll be back. So we're up the next day, and I got a dead cow. Oh, wait, he's still asleep. He's breathing. Poor sleepy cow. I know I don't like getting up before eight either, Mr. Cow. And oddly, the grass has not grown overnight. Is it maybe just not going to grow anymore? It's ready to harvest, but I, I wanted to see it looking like this. I just don't think it's done growing yet. Let's take a look at the grow chart. Um, where's our map and our grass is here it may not show us what 
just happened. Growing. Yeah, it's not showing us. Showing us our oats are almost ready. But unfortunately, the grass just doesn't show up. Well, we're going to leave this running for... Uh, I'm going to let it things bloom for another hour or two, and then we'll get mowing. Food, uh, once again, 28,000 liters. They could probably stand to use a little top off, but... Let me see the barn information. They have a lot of food, a lot of hay, a lot of grass, a lot of straw. So we're still fine. Uh, all right. And we're going to run down to the factory real quick and just double check. So I won't feed them till tomorrow again. That way I'm not like feeding them every day. There's our wheat. It's grown a little bit taller. She looks the same to me, but. Growing. And it grows fast. The oats grow fast. Not wheat, oats. Butter, cheese, running, milk. We still have 3,000 liters of milk in there. And we should have some. There we go. This is valuable. These are not so much. Okay. Um, so keep growing. All right. So I'm going to speed up time here and see what happens. Uh, and so I'll be right back. I've made a decision. If it hasn't grown by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to mow anyway. But I'm just shocked that we're this late into the summer and I haven't gotten a first mow yet. That's pretty late. Nope. So that mu that must be it. Don't you I swear it grows to this stage, but it's not. And so it's July. We we need to get some mowing done. I I want to get a couple mows in this year and it's just it's late. We're halfway through the summer now. So I guess we just got to go for it. I'd like to get at least two mows this year. It's odd. Well, let's get Big Bertha out. Now, some of this field, I want to be hay. So we'll start with that portion first. Where's my mower? And some of it, I want to be, most of it I want to be silage, but. There's that. So let's go ahead and unfold this. Unfold that, ah, eh, wait, we'll wait. Scooch around. Now we can unfold this. And we are going to make this not windrow it for a little bit. Like this will be the hay section of our field. Um, so I need to toggle the work mode, which I don't remember how to do. Uh, selected work mode. Toggle work mode. Left button. Right swath, wide spreading, that's what we want. Okay. Turn this back off again. Put her down, there we go. And then the front, on, down. And what this is going to do is leave a nice wide swath that we can windrow, that we can tend and windrow and bail into hay. Hey, 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 hey. So I feel weird about mowing this early, and maybe for the next one we'll let it grow, but I, I don't know, something happened, or it just didn't go right, or what, but. Usually the grass grows all uniform, but it could also be because we replanted, and this is the first time we've seen it since we replanted it. So that we replanted in the fall, so that might be just what it looks like when it's done. Which means I let it go an extra month. 
Oh, well. This is about the halfway mark. We're going to split it here. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. I love the way it leaves that. Oh well. It leaves a little bit of a bloop. <laughs> Even at 330 horsepower, 350 or whatever this thing is, this thing's got a lot of horsepower. Still struggles to get up that hill. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do on the other side here for the silage. But we'll get all the fields done today. So see you in just a friggin' moment. I've finished up this side of the field. So now we're going to go into the wind road side. Go to the back mowers, turn them off, and we're going to pick. Nope, not that. There we go, wind row. And it's ready to go. So let's now, we'll mow and row. And so this stuff will be collected for silage. Watch out for the children on the playground. It would be no good if you hit the children on the playground. They are not the ones who made trouble. Let's leave them be. It's okay if you make big circles. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get this done now. And I'm going to mosey on over to the other field and get that done. Once again, these will be larger harvests. We're going to make some decent money from this. Eh, 150, 200,000. Hopefully get some of those loans paid down. I know I paid a decent amount down, but I still think I have 100 plus thousand dollars of loan that needs to get paid off uh, and so we'll get that taken care of hopefully with this mowing wouldn't that be nice all right I'll be back all right I've got the mowing done um, and so now I'm going to make the silage first because it just sits on the field for a couple days i'm not gonna this time i'm gonna take people's advice i'm not gonna collect it until it's fermented though that could cause problems with fertilization because i don't know i don't know how that's gonna work out we'll see how that works out um but in real life they usually leave silage out so look at all that nice cheese and milk being produced
or cheese and butter. So that's gone really well for us. The mow was fairly quick and easy, about an hour, a little bit over an hour of time spent mowing. And that's real time, folks, for those of you that are uh, unappreciative of the amount of time I put into these videos. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of time that goes into this. Most of it's spent mowing in this on this map. Though a lot of it's spent collecting, which is what we're going to do next. So I'm going to turn that stuff into silage, and then we'll make hay on the other field and collect that also. Oh, look how dirty these things got. Much better. Okay. And I'm going to try to econ economize on barn space because we're going to have double the amount of bales that we had before. Um, though I suppose silage, does, silage doesn't really have to be stored under a canopy because it it's already wrapped and most farmers that I've seen just leave it out so drop that right there put that down right here good very good <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, all right so um, grab this and get this out there into the field <laughs> start bailing our I think this is where I started. Look out! I tried to mow this field a little bit more organized this time. We're picking up. Uh, so what I did was I... Oh, we are almost out of gas. Yikes. Okay, that's going to have to take a break then. I need to run down to the gas station. Holy cow. Look out, look out, look out. I'm about to crash. Watch out for the big tractor on the road. Where is the gas station? Uh-oh. Uh, I think it's to the right. There it is. I can see it up in town. Wow, it was really low on fuel. Yikes. Burning that gas. <laughs> oh, Lordy. $2,000 down the drain. It's going to be... 555 bucks. That's almost what it cost me to fill up my little 10-gallon car nowadays. Ah. <sighs>
car speeding up behind me. Not real life, I don't think you'd run over your nice windrows of grass. But it ain't real life, it's farm sim. So I think our first bale that we're going to get probably is straw. Because that's the... No, it's grass. Oh, surprising. Oh, you know, it wouldn't be straw because we didn't, we didn't make straw yet. We've only done the... The, uh, we've only done grass and hay. Oh, boy. Please stop. It's going to go down the hill. It's still rolling. It's going to end up on my, uh, on my uh, cheese and butter factory. <laughs> That, is that one stopped? Oh lordy! It's it's picking up speed. <laughs> Eventually, when I can afford it, I would like to switch over to square bales. They're just so much easier to manage. Um. And I'd also like to make these bigger, but I don't think I can. Is there a size adjustment? Yeah, auto fold, fold baler. No, and I, that's what I thought. This baler does not allow you to change the size of the bale. It is pretty much a one-size-fits-all bale. So that's okay. Uh, but in the other maps that I've, I've done, it is kind of nice working with larger bales, uh, trying to get them as big as possible, because then you don't have to have as many bales stored. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I'll see you guys in like six hours. Uh, oh, well, it is what it is. See you in a minute. So I find myself, oops, driving off course. Still bailing half an hour later. <laughs> and I've been doing some in-the-cab bailing. I will say having it set the way that I've set it, it has now th that section over there is still going to roll down the hill. And at some point, I probably should put a fence in. But um, as of right now, this is going pretty well. And I don't have bales rolling all over the place because I've gone along the hillside rather than, a, like, with it. So the bale should not roll very much. I can't believe I missed that whole spot back there. Dang it. Whenever I'm coming in or going out of video... Recording that stuff happens. What a view, though, huh? Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish this up. I might jump in the camera here and there in the next episode, but we are going to... Um, I'll have you stick with me for a couple more minutes here, and then we will uh, discuss our next episode, which... I think it's going to be, I still have to do the tedding, and then we'll just leave these on the field. And I might rent a slurry spreader and start spreading slurry. And then whatever's ow, not left, I can, I can roll. So unfortunately, my allergies have been really bad. If you guys are wondering why I haven't had a ton of content lately, it's because I've been pretty sick with allergies. For those of you that are have been around the channel for a while, you'll know that every spring uh, I suffer from severe allergies, which become almost, uh, they, they, how do I put this? They, they cause me to be asthmatic. Uh, I don't usually have issues with asthma, but it turns into like bronchial infection because uh, my airways get irritated and then they start to close. 
<coughs> so it means that I'm not sleeping well. Uh, I, I did end up going to the hospital last week, and they put me on um, a breather and uh, like a albuterol and a bunch of steroids for a couple of days. But the downside is like now that I'm off all that stuff, I'm still having like pretty bad like cramps in my abdominal region. Anyway, it just it makes such a huge mess, and you know, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, you know, maybe vitamins and stuff would help me from getting sick. But the problem is I'm not sick. I'm just allergic. So anyway, I'm going to try to get a little healthier this year. Um, because I don't, I, I think the healthier you are, the less those kind of things will affect you. But it's been a rough couple uh, weeks here. Uh, and that's why I haven't gone back. To Twitch for those of you that are waiting for the Twitch streams to come out and hoping to see Twitch here soon. Uh, it, it will be coming soon, but I, I am still probably going to take another week or so off. Um, usually by the 15th of June, whatever it is that causes me to have allergic reactions <coughs> comes to an end. And so um, because of that, I kind of have to just wait it out and, and then I'll be better. But uh, summer is also very busy for us, so I don't. The Twitch streams will be at a lower capacity, usually like two or three a week, is kind of where I'm going to go. Maybe like Tuesday, Thursday, and then like uh, Monday if I'm available. But we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be cutting back on how much I stream during the summer just because we're busy and, and I got stuff to do. I, I also like to fly my RC airplanes, and. That's usually best right before sunset, so that means like 8 or 9 o'clock, which is usually when I stream. So I can either not ever fly RC airplanes again or, you know, do them on nights when I'm not streaming. And so I try to do them, you know, as much as possible on nights when I'm not streaming. But sometimes that does overlap. And if I get an opportunity, last year I streamed for a lot of the summer and I didn't fly at all. And I really, you know, I had even two, two new airplanes that I haven't flown that I had purchased last year with my inheritance. Um, and so, anyway, I never actually got to fly those. Oh, I was trying to rush to get back on before that happened, but. This is the not so good portion of the map. Oh yeah, that worked out perfectly. Wait, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> oh God, it's gonna keep going. I was hoping it would hit the tree or something, but no, it's just gonna roll back. It may stop before it gets to the road, but. Intercepted. All right. All right. So we continue. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I've definitely had fun making it, and I hope you enjoyed the little musical segment there. And I will see you again next time. And like I said, by then I'll probably have this all done, hopefully. And we will be doing uh, hay on the other field to boost up our bale numbers for the hay for the year. And uh, like I said, we don't go through too many, but this thing is just popping these bales out left and right. That's good. So, anyway, have a good night. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, always up, and I will see you again here in Swiss Chapman Swiss Dairy Farm in Switzerland. Bye.